I think the video definitely changed the world as we have had a reaction this time that we have not ever had uh, with these videos. Um, I mean, people worldwide are demonstrating such as we are today. Tonight, hundreds of protesters are in Lakeland where they've been gathering for nearly four hours. Eight of your size, Justin Shecker begins our live team coverage from Polk County tonight. Justin, bring us up to speed on how things are going. Uh, Mel, good evening. A much different situation today compared to a week ago when we witnessed the protests and with tear gas and clashes with law enforcement. This protest and rally at the park have remained peaceful, and there was a somber tribute reminding everyone why we're seeing these demonstrations across the country and around the world. I was a hearse driver, and my son was the passenger. A caravan of hearses honoring black lives lost, some at the hands of police. George Floyd being the most recent. Breonna Taylor took part in the Black Lives Matter March to Mun Park in Lakeland. Even though there's not enough of them, they represent each and every person killed at the hands of the injustice and the oppressor. Some of their stories have made national headlines, like Trayvon Martin and Ahmaud Arbery. And some I didn't know, stories that were unknown, I plan to go home and Google later. Once at the park, change is coming. Speakers addressed a crowd of demonstrators from diverse backgrounds. It's not, it's not one culture, it's all cultures out here. Um, we're striving for the same thing and change. You know? Jakia Stevens from Bartow told me how she thinks police can build better trust with the communities they serve. We need more compassion from our officers, more understanding. You know, every, you don't have to arrest every time. Hearst driver Brandon Moore says he's hopeful about the future as he watches this moment in history with his son. I think it is phenomenal uh, as he does need to know where he comes from and that he is a young African-American male and how to deal with police relations as we move forward. And Lakeland police provided traffic control for today's protest. And Mel, Black Lives Matter organizers also hired their own security, a train to spot any troublemakers in the crowd. This protest is scheduled to end at 730. Back to you. All right, Justin Shecker, live for us tonight in Lakeland. Justin, thank you. And